You're going to be working around fuel here, so you want to take some basic safety precautions. As always, you should be wearing your safety glasses, but now is a good time to get yourself some chemical resistant gloves as well. You want to be working in a well ventilated area without any source of ignition or heat close by, including a hot water heater or incandescent shop lamps. You should have a good charged fire extinguisher handy and know how to use it. No matter how quick you work here, a little fuel is going to spill out. Be prepared to catch it and dispose of it in accordance with the regulations in your area. The filter, Green Arrow, is located almost dead center in the middle of the car, hidden somewhat behind the coolant pipes. The blue arrow points to the foam piece that needs to be removed so that you can pull the filter out towards the rear of the car. Removal of the filter is made easier if you remove the two screws that hold on the plastic coolant line bracket as indicated by the yellow arrows. The orange arrow shows the screw that needs to be loosened in order to release the fuel filter from the clamp. The purple arrow points to the one of the two tabs that must be depressed on the quick disconnect connector. In the lower right, a brand new fuel filter is shown. Note the arrow that indicates the fuel flow direction printed on the side of the filter. The lower left insert photo shows the small ground strap that needs to be removed from the old filter and attached to the new one. Red arrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.